Good morning, YouTube. This is Johnny. It's been a couple of days since I made a video. And um, I try to make a video at least every seven, eight days. Here in West Michigan, it is April the 18th, 2023. It is 11.13 in the um, late morning here on a Tuesday. My wife just left to visit her sister-in-law and put gas in her car and to go to the library and pick up a book that she had put on reserve. And I have been writing in my diary. I'm on page... 323 for the year 2023. Uh, I've been re yesterday. I got in the mail. Innovarsity Press. I go to their website and they have sales. <clears throat> and I always just look every once in a while and see what's on sale. And they um, it, they're really cheap. So I ordered two books. That was, you know, really, uh, one book was like $4, the other one was $8. So I got those in the mail yesterday. In a varsity, they published Christian literature. I got this book in the mail yesterday from In a Varsity, uh, academic. It's uh, Biblical Theology, the God of the Christian Scriptures by by John Golden Gay. Uh, I have his three volumes, Old Testament Theology, and I have his uh, a book of his on, it's like, uh, what's it called? Um, I can't remember the title of it right now, but I have a couple of books of his downstairs. And, but I have his three volumes, Old Testament Theology, that I bought years ago from, I think, Baker Bookhouse put it out. So I got this, uh, I'm, I'm really into biblical theology. You've noticed that recently I've been buying a lot of biblical theology. This was only $8. It goes for, I think, 40 something like that, really. But I like John Golden Gay. <clears throat> and I also got this in the mail. It was on sale. Got this for $4.00. Uh, Evangelical Theological Method, Five Views, edited by Stanley E. Porter and Stephen M. Studbaker. Contributors by Sung Wook Chung, John R. Frank, Telford C. Work, uh, some others. Theological Method. It was only $4, and I just thought I'd just get to look at <laughs> So I got those in the mail. What this video is, is what I've been reading to be read or what I am reading or what I have read. And um, because I have piles of used books downstairs, uh, library withdrawals from what I got uh, volunteering at the Book Nook, uh, the Blue Stockings Bookshop, books in the mail from Amazon. I also, but I'm just going to show you I'm reading in the mornings. As you know, my routine is to read Christian books in the morning. I'm looking at this this morning. I was reading the the first one of the essays by uh, Telford C. Work, Interdisciplinary Theology, Framers and Painters. So I've been reading that one this morning. What I do is I read one book one morning and then I read something else. I've been reading this in the mornings too. I've shown this book, Union with the Resurrected Christ, Eschatological New Creation, New Testament Biblical Theology by J.K. Beale. I've been reading this and still reading William Perkins, Volume 5 on the Apostles' Creed. Uh, I read this still in the mornings on the Apostles' Creed. And my wife and I, we read for devotions, the Valley of Vision, 
collection of Puritan prayers and devotions. We've been reading this for our devotions before we have a time of prayer. And we are reading together, my wife and I, Calvin's Institutes of Christian Religion, Volume 1. Yeah, we're on page 93 on the Doctrine of Scripture. So we're reading that, my wife and I. So we read that, and then we pray. And I read, along with Calvin Institutes, Piety's Wisdom, Summary of Calvin's Institutes with Study Questions by J. Mark Beach. So we read those in the mornings. And also I showed you this book. I read this yesterday, What is Saving Faith? Reflections on Receiving Christ as a Treasure by John Piper. I'm halfway through this. I, I recommend this for all evangelical Christians. And then I'm still reading Platonism and Mystical Theology, a Spiritual Doctrine of St. Gregory of Nyssa by Jean Dahu, Don, Don, Don Lu. I really enjoyed this. I, I've learned a lot. Well, not learned a lot, but I've got some insights on mystical theology. I really enjoyed this. Still reading uh, Holy Spirit by Robert Lethem. I read this. No, the last thing I read on the Holy Spirit was Engaging the Holy Spirit, the Doctrine. Engaging the Doctrine of the Holy Spirit, Love and Gift and Trinity and Church by Matthew Learing. And tomorrow I'll probably read Robert Lethem on the Holy Spirit. And I'm reading The Lord's Supper, Eternal Word, and the Broken Bread by Robert Lethem. And when I'm reading uh, Gregory of uh, I, when I'm Gregory of Nyssa, I read his exposition, The Song of Songs. By, it's a translation by Casimir McCambry. And I also have been reading Gregory of Nyssa's The Life of Moses in the classics of Western spirituality. So I. Because this is quote, it's qu these are quoted in here. That's why they're out. I don't read them. I just where they're quoted, I try to find it in these books. So that's what I read in the mornings. As you know, my habit generally is to read in the mornings my Christian books, write in my diary, which I do all day long, and then in the afternoons. I read my secular books. I I read the debut by Anna Bruckner. I read this whole thing. I was going to do a review of it, but then I figured if I did a review, it'd be multiple videos. But I really, as you know, I really enjoy the writings of Anna Bruckner. Anita, it's called Anita Bruckner. By, so I read that, very, you know, it's only, it's only 190 pages. And I'm still reading The Story of a Life by, I can't pronounce the, uh, right, I can't pronounce the name. I'm really enjoying this. I took this to the book nook to me on Monday, and I read this yesterday. I'm, I've read almost 400 pages of this. Highly recommend it. I got two books in the mail last week, uh, Bookworm Conversations with Michael Silberbratt. Uh, as you all know, the Bookworm was on KCRW, it's where Michael Silberbratt would have conversations with writers and jo and this just came out and I, I've listened to well I don't think it's in more online but there's a you can listen to the archives of Michael Silverat and he's just these are just conversations he had with writers who have died not and I've been reading the one on John Ashbery uh, the poet now I'm reading the one on John Berger who I collect, uh, 
John Dillon, William H. Gass, Toni Morrison, Susan Sontang, and then he had a very famous conversation with David Foster Wallace. So I've been reading this. And I, I showed you The Hooligans Return, a memoir by Norma Mena. Uh, I'm almost finished with this. And I've ordered another book of his I got in the mail yesterday. Uh, the Fifth Impossibility, Essays on Exile and Language by Norman Mayer. I was reading this last night, some of the essays by this. And I also read, before I go to bed, The, the Rakes of the Old Court, a novel by another Romanian writer, which I cannot pronounce. But this is translated by Sheen Cor Corder. Cotter, and uh, so I've been reading it. It's a very slim little thing. I just read it. And I'm still reading The Divine Days by Liam Force. Really enjoying this. I've read almost 330 pages, and it's 1,140 pages. It's a big monster of a book. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm still reading The Hive by Camilo Jose Sila. I got just a couple more pages left in this. This is translated by James Womack. Uh, I really enjoy uh, this book. And I'm still reading The Letters of William Gaddis, edited by Stephen Morse. Today I get Amazon's Delivering Stephen Moore's Memoirs. He was a, a director for, not a director, an editor for New Directions. And it says memoir coming in the mail today. I'm really enjoying these letters by William Gaddis. And uh, yeah, what I want to read Pretty soon is The Garden of the Seven Twilights by Manuel de Pola. And uh, I'm just about finished with Celloid by Carisco. I'm almost done with this. So that's what I've been reading, what I read throughout the day. You know, I read one thing for a while, and today I'll probably read some more of Divine Days. I gotta finish reading this, and uh, reading some essays, The Fifth Possibility. Almost done with The Hooligans Return, a memoir. Really enjoyed this, I really enjoy this and reading the compensations bookworm compensations with silver michael silverbrat so i read those and like i said i'm always writing in my diary it's kind of like therapy for me <laughs> writing in my diary and uh really enjoying uh, the story of a life i read this yesterday at the book nook i told you and I really enjoyed the de the debut by Anita Bruckner, and uh, yeah, I'm having a good reading experience. Um, like I said, you know, I read until twelve. I have lunch, and then about one o'clock, I go into a lull, and I write, and I'll watch some videos and. Uh, if my wife's around, we'll talk, and uh, and then at four o'clock, I turn the news on and watch about the weather, and, and then we'll have a light dinner, and then I'll read uh, until I go to bed around eleven o'clock, and that's what I do. Today I have my therapy session at one o'clock, so I'll leave here around twelve forty. Well, I got. I have to leave early because I have to put gas in my car. 
So I'll leave around here about 1230, put gas in the car and go in my therapy session. My, my therapist is just about eight, nine minutes from where I live. Besides that, I don't know, the weather turned cold and rainy and snowy last couple of days. It was really warm for a while. Everything turned green and the flowers came out and the birds are all agitated because it's time to build their nest. And um, so my, my days go by very quietly. As you know, the book nook will close down the end of June. They're going to remodel the whole down lower level of the library, and we won't be opened again until April 2024. People ask me, "What are you going to do when the book nook closes?" I'll just, I'll just read and write and wait for the second coming of Christ. I don't really plan to do anything. I, I love to read. I love to write. I have. You know, my wife's here, and uh, we go to thrift stores and look for used books, and uh, the days go by. I try to live in the eternal now. I try to live in the moment. I try to go just from morning, afternoon, and evening, and night. I don't try to live in the past or live in the future. I just try to focus on the now, try to stay in the Holy Spirit and stay focused on God as I go through my days. And uh, that's what I do. It's a simple life. I don't have to work since I'm 70 years old and I'm retired. And just enjoy just good health and enjoy my books. Really enjoying the story of a lot. I highly recommend this. I can't keep not recommending this. It's really good. And I really have enjoyed reading Divine Days by Leon Forrest. And I really want to get into The Garden of Seven Twilights by Manuel de Pelo. And, uh, Join Letters of William Gaddis. So I have plenty to read, occupy my mind. And I have lots of Christian books to read. I got lots of paper and pen. I got a mind that's functioning. <laughs> and uh, so what else could, could you want? I feed the birds too, watching the birds from the kitchen window. I, watch the flowers bloom, the trees turn their green leaves, and it's just a simple life. As far as Christian books, like I said, I think the thing I've enjoyed the most reading, to be honest, is... what's that book? I've really enjoyed reading Plat Platonism and Mystical Theology by Spiritual Doctrine of Gregory of Nisa. This is, most of the other things I've been reading, I've read, I've been reading Christian books. I've been a Christian going on 53 years. I've gone to Bible college and seminary. I've taught Sunday school, I've preached. So there's not much new that I have not read. Like I've read a lot of union with, you know, biblical theology. I've read a lot of books on, I've read the Puritans for, I don't know, since 1975, I've been reading Puritan spirituality and spiritual, Puritan spiritual theology. You know, I've read a lot of books on saving faith. And, but I don't know much about Gregor of Nyssa and his spiritual theology, so I've really enjoyed this. So, so it's going on 20 minutes. I'll stop my rambling. This is what I do. When people come into the book nook, the library used bookstore, I'll ramble to people for about 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> I'll ramble. That's what I'm doing. I'm rambling. But I just wanted to make a video, tell you what I'm reading, what I plan to read, and what I hope to read, that I'm writing in my diary, that I'm doing okay. I hope you're doing okay. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for all your prayers and blessings. Do pray you're having a good reading week. And until next time, bye.